Okay, I don't know what's going on with this Facebook Live, but just wanted to come on and just share some thoughts um, that my uncle shared with me. I have a 70-something-year-old uncle who's a Vietnam veteran, a longtime resident of Gaston County, obviously, uh, but also he lives in Gastonia, has been living there for decades in the city of Gastonia. And he just called to tell me how upset he is with the sheriff of Gaston County and the county commissioners trying to restrict, put uh, restrictions upon free speech on county property. And he's very upset about that. Um, he also agrees with um, the rest of us in the county who want that piece of trash Confederate monument removed. And we keep hearing um, from these commissioners uh, lying about, oh, they don't have the power to do it. They're prohibited by law uh, from removing that neo-Confederate uh, golden calf. And just today, we just had Iredale County commissioners vote to relocate that Confederate statue from outside of their courthouse. North Carolina is number two in the United States in removing these Confederate monuments and other symbols of racism. But yet these county commissioners are lying to the courts in response to that lawsuit that has been filed against them in relation to that Confederate monument, lying and saying that North Carolina law prohibits them from removing um, the false idol to their gods of white supremacy. Um, Obviously, that's a lie because you, again, North Carolina's number two as county after county after county uh, are removing these monuments to white supremacy from these courthouses. And, and you know, it's just time out for that uh, in terms of the restrictions on free speech ordinance that they keep trying to pass. Like my uncle said, if you don't know the law. If you don't know this Constitution, people can do anything they want to to you. And if you don't have the guts, if you don't have the courage to stand on your rights, then they'll do anything they want to to you. But that's not how I roll. That's not how I was raised. Uh, I don't plan on going out there um protesting in front of that confederate monument again the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result i'm not going to beg these county commissioners to do what they do what they should know is the right thing to do instead of lying and trying to hide behind an unconstitutional state law that has not pro prohibited any other county in north carolina from removing their monuments the next time you see me out there is when they move in to remove it. And I ain't talking about the county officials. If anybody is talking about making moves to take that unconstitutional statue, that unlawful statue down, let me know. Please let me know. Send me a message. Send me a text. Give me a phone call and let me know because I'll be out there with you. But in terms of begging these people to do what's right, I ain't, I'm not begging. Not begging. We, we did it for a whole year, 2020, trying to do things the so-called right way. And even when you do things the so-called right way, um, they do what the hell they want to do. So that's all I wanted to share. But my uncle, Vietnam veteran, very upset with you, Sheriff Kloniger, very upset with you county commissioners trying to restrict free speech in this county. All right. That's all I got for you. Peace.